Today we're going to be looking at three simple tools and ideas that you can use to improve the function of your knees and also reduce pain. When it comes to talking about knees, there is so much information that I love to share with you, but we're going to try and make this very fast and concise. Now, number one, what I want you to understand is that in most cases, I consider knees to be the shock absorbers of the body, and often if you're having chronic or issues with your knee, either from a performance perspective or pain perspective, it often means that you have foot problems or hip problems or back issues that also need to be addressed. So I do not assume that what I'm showing you in this particular video is going to fix everyone's knee problem. But there are some really critical things that I want you to understand. So we're going to look at some soft tissue things for the knee, and then also a few movement exercises, all of which can be incredibly beneficial. So that's number one. It may not be your knee, maybe other stuff. Number two, whenever we start working on this, it's really important that you also understand that our goal is, if you're having knee pain, one pain-free rep. All right? And what I mean by that is most people with knee pain, you know, it hurts every time they bend the knee or every time they straighten the knee. So what we're looking for is a set of exercises or tools working together that helps you do one pain-free rep because your brain needs to understand that it's possible to move your knee without pain. So with that said, what we're going to start off with is a little bit of self-massage, all right? Now to do this, you're going to have to identify two specific areas on your knee. So I'm going to ask you to do the same thing, just follow along with me. Uh, you can do this in a chair. I'm going to do it standing, obviously. So I need to kneel down. And the first thing in this position is we need to look at the skin, all right? So I want you to take, get your pants out of the way, and we're going to look at two specific spots on the knee. Uh, the first one that I'm interested in is uh, it's what's called the adductor tunnel, and it's where a nerve called the saphenous nerve comes down out of the back and through the hip and then feeds the inner surface of your knee and lower leg. Now, this spot's pretty easy to find. You're going to find the top of your kneecap, okay? This is your kneecap. You're going to slide over to the uh, middle of the inner surface of your leg and then start working your way up. Now you're going to feel some meaty tissue, but as you work your way up, usually uh, two to three inches, you're going to find a hole. <laughs> and if you push into that hole a little bit, uh, you're going to find in most cases, if this is the sign that you have knee pain issues on, you're going to find that it's quite tender. Uh, also, if you have some weakness in the knee, you have a difficult time doing strengthening exercises, you may also find it to be quite tender. And it's often tender just to light touch. Now, once you find that, what I want you to do is I'm just going to have you put your fingers on it, make some small circles, maybe five to six times. Try to reduce the intensity of the discomfort if you're feeling any, but don't press into it really hard. It's a, it's a nerve, so take it really easy nice and comfortable. So I want you to spend again maybe 30 seconds just kind of lightly massaging that area. The next thing that I want you to do is I'm going to have you straighten your leg out just a little bit and I want you to just simply grab the skin underneath the patella. All right, The patella is your kneecap and there is a little, uh, should be a little bit of flexibility in the skin here. So I'm going to have you basically take a light pinch of that skin, hold it, and then I just want you to lightly bend and straighten your knee. Now, I'm not asking you to bend it fully or to straighten it fully, but I just want you to hold that and maybe do 10 to 15 light flexions and extensions or just bending and straightening the knee while you're holding onto that tissue. What you may find as you do that is you have to use both hands. You may have to change your grip a little bit, but this is really, really important as a lot of knee pain actually comes from uh, small, what we call nerve entrapments of... Uh, what are called cutaneous or skin nerves as they come around underneath the knee. So we massage a little bit here, we've mobilized the skin under the knee, that should prepare us now to do a little bit of mobility work. So to do the mobility work, <clears throat> I'm going to come up to a standing position, and the first thing that we're going to do is just what we call hanging knee circles, which are very, very light, comfortable exercises. In most cases, you're going to want to hold onto a chair, hold onto a wall, and you're simply going to bring the knee up to a comfortable position. So just lift it off the floor, and I'm going to have you start by making this little side-to-side -side pendulum motion, and you're trying to relax your knee to do this. Once you can relax and do a side-to-side -side pendulum, now I just want you to lightly let the knee go back and forth. Now if this causes you any discomfort, reduce the range. Okay? We want to always be working into this kind of pain-free range. If we can do side-to-side -side and we can do front-to-back, we're then going to try to create a very, very small, comfortable, circular motion. 
nice and light. Again, you're not trying to fully flex or extend the knee. You're just making a slight circle, trying to let the lower leg be really heavy, creating some space within the joint. You can do maybe 10 to 15 repetitions each side, just whatever's comfortable for you. And now I want you to just come up to a standing position. All right? Once you've done that, we're now going to go into some different forms of knee circles. To keep this really simple, I'm going to have you put the leg that you're working on in front of you. I'm going to have you fully lock the knee at a comfortable level, not a hard lock, but a light lock of the knee. And then we're just going to start doing some small circles, almost like you used to do in gym class years and years and years ago. So you start, you turn the kneecap out, you come around, come to the inside, and then lock the knee. Notice that we're not exaggerating this motion. We're just making a simple circle. I want you to go both directions. If you can do, again, five to 10 comfortable repetitions, that's what we're aiming at. Once you've done that version with a foot in neutral, we're going to repeat this first by turning the knee to the outside. Again, keep, or turning the foot to the outside. So turn the foot out lightly. You're gonna repeat the same circles. Now, once you go slowly and comfortably with these, and keep the range really, really small in the beginning. As your knee mobility improves and your leg strength improves, you can increase the size of the circle. Once again, you're aiming for five to 10 repetitions. From here, we're going to turn the foot in. We're gonna repeat the same set of circles. What we're doing with these three different positions is we're mobilizing different areas of the knee trying to hit all the different spots and various bits and pieces that can cause tension to build up as you're moving. And good. Now, once you've done those knee circles, hopefully your knee's feeling better. It should feel like it's been mobilized. It should feel like it's a little bit warmed up. If you were having knee pain, retest it, see if it's better. Last step in all of this now is if you've got some improvement from the mobility drills, and you also got a little bit of improvement from the soft tissue work, we want to combine them. Um, now, sometimes this requires someone to help you, <laughs> particularly if you're working on the skin underneath the kneecap. But to demonstrate, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get into the same position with my foot in neutral, and I'm going to find that little tender spot on the inside of my leg here again, and I'm simply going to press into it lightly, and I usually need to pull that area up toward my hip. If I hold that now and go through the same knee circles, very often if the knee circle was uncomfortable or felt uncoordinated before, it will feel much more secure and much less uh, difficult while you're holding this particular area. We like to combine the soft tissue contacts with the knee work because very often by adding in a little bit of information from our hands touching the skin, it makes the knee feel a lot more secure and as a result lowers the overall threat to that area. So if you're having pain, it will usually reduce it. And if you're having any kind of functional deficit with strength, it will usually improve that as well. So there's a basic uh, approach to dealing with some of the knee issues that come up. If you have any questions about this, please let us know.